Honorable Member for Saanich Gulf Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the Honorable uh, Assistant Minister for his presentation. Uh, clearly, religious freedoms are human rights, the, belief, the right to believe, the right to exercise your belief through faith, through religion, through gathering together, or through no faith and through no decisions to gather together. These are fundamental human rights, and the oppression of Coptic Christians in Egypt is a deeply of deep concern to Canadians. But I want to ask the Honourable Minister of the other religions that we're seeing also abused, the situation for the Baha'i in Iran, the situation for the Tibetan monks who are increasingly now turning the desperate tactic of self-immolation. And in the context of this debate, what can Canada do other than creating an office? I must say I'm skeptical about creating an office. All of our diplomacy should be directed towards human rights, not segmenting it into one small office. The Honourable Associate Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, I thank the uh, Honourable Member for her uh, uh, bigger picture, if you will, of this very serious issue of the infringement of human rights more broadly. And uh, at the first meeting of the newly structured office uh, with respect to religious freedoms and so forth that we spoke about earlier, uh, some 100 different uh, uh, Religion, religious representatives, various religions were represented at this meeting. So there's a, there's a, there's a significant engagement of the broader religious minorities in this particular new office, new structure, that will in effect uh, be, I believe, very, very effective in dealing with these issues on a, on a more international level. And uh, the Honourable Member's point is well taken. Uh, there are many, many disenfranchised discriminated uh, minorities, religion uh, or, uh, minorities as well, uh, worldwide. And this particular office, I think, is a, a very uh, effective way to begin to make those kinds of inroads in a united front. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Questions and comments? Question, 